Hola, um, I am Senora Kerrison and I am the lead teacher for A-Level here at Copleston Sixth Form. I am about to present to you information in a PowerPoint of the curriculum we cover here, um, assessment and the exciting opportunities that studying Spanish here at Copleston Sixth Form can bring for, for you. If there's anything I've forgotten or any further information that you would like, please do feel that you can contact me and you will find my contact details on this final slide. Hasta luego. Hola and welcome to the um, A-Level Spanish PowerPoint presentation. So A-Level Spanish is an extremely successful subject here at Cobbleston Sixth Form. You will see later on in my presentation that we secure outstanding results at the end of year 13 and I'm going to touch on the reasons for those outstanding results throughout my presentation this evening. You will have timetabled lessons with myself and the lessons are also supported with additional lessons with the Spanish language assistant with a real focus on developing the fluency and the skills required to be highly successful in the final speaking exam in year 13. We are one of very, very few schools in Suffolk who still employ a Spanish language assistant as we are absolutely convinced that this is the key to success at A-level and developing fluent and spontaneous speakers. Studying a language at A-level um, will develop the skills that are highly sought after by future employers and set you up for a fantastic career moving forward. Universities are able to offer ongoing language courses, so even if it's the case that you don't want to go and continue your Spanish study at university, you will be able to take your Spanish A level and build on it through additional um, modules and so on at university. We have a really, really strong focus on developing cultural understanding. So you will see as we move through this presentation that understanding the culture of Hispanic countries and Hispanic society is at the core of the subject. And as we know, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world with over 400 million people. There are 21 countries across the world for whom Spanish is their official language. So learning Spanish and continuing your Spanish studies can really set you up for a fantastic international career in the future. Or even just some fantastic holiday Spanish um, as you move through your life. So we've got a, a strong Spanish team here at Copleston. You can see on the right hand side our Spanish language assistant Senora Chudley who has a wealth of knowledge in supporting A-level students and is a real asset to the team. Myself and Senora Jubb um, deliver the bulk of the lessons in sixth form, fantastically supported by Senora Chudley. We have Excellent student voice for Spanish A-level here at Cobbleston Sixth Form. And you can read one of the quotes there from Cleo in Year 13. I think what's clear when you talk to students at um, studying Spanish here is that they feel highly supported and lessons are differentiated according to the needs of the student. So students who need to have perhaps some extra input on particular grammar points Will be, um, will be set work to, to develop those points. And students who perhaps feel more comfortable with those grammar points will be always moving on to the next step to make sure that all students in the group make fantastic progress. So what will you be studying? At Copleston, we follow the AQA exam board and you can find lots and lots of information about that if you Google AQA and you use the course code, which is 7692. The course is set into four different themes, which you can see there on the screen. And again, you can see a real, real emphasis on the culture of Hispanic society and the Hispanic world. Across those four themes, we of course will develop the skills that you will be used to working on at GCSE. So listening, reading, writing um, and translation form the bulk of the activities that we will complete in class time together. Strong emphasis on using target language to develop fluency and spontaneity in speaking. And we also encourage our students to take a real interest outside of lesson time in the Hispanic world. 
going above and beyond and keeping a real eye on the news and cultural sort of festivities taking place in different countries. In year 13, as part of this final speaking exam, students will individually um, choose an area of particular interest to them. So it may well be something we've covered during year 12 as part of the course, or it could be something entirely different linked to um, a, a Hispanic country. And they will complete an IRP, which is an individual or independent research project. And you will become kind of an expert on that subject and that forms a large part of the final speaking exam. In terms of assessment, it's all terminal assessment at the end of year 13. As we work through the course at the end of each module, we will do an internal exam um, and assessment predominantly to identify any areas for development um, and any kind of potential gaps in learning that we can then address to ensure fantastic outcomes. At the end of year 13, three different papers are sat. Paper one, as you can see on the screen, is a listening, reading and writing. We then have paper two. Um, so in year 13, we will do a literature study. So we read a Spanish book together and do lots of activities around that book, really getting to understand the history, the culture. Um, and you will need to write a, an essay on that book of 300 words in, in paper two. Similarly, at the end of year 12, there is a film study. So we watch a Spanish film um, together and work through again, activities, understanding, history, culture, etc., related to the film. Paper three is a speaking paper, falls into two parts. The first part is reasonably similar to the GCSE photo card that you will be used to preparing for. So there's a, a sort of a prompt card that leads on to a conversation with your teacher or the visiting examiner. And the second part, as I spoke about a little while ago, is that that IRP where you will become the expert in a subject. You will present on that subject in Spanish and then there will be follow up questions. All of the exams predominantly are, are answered in Spanish uh, with some translation both ways. So Spanish into English and also English into Spanish. Listening exam differs slightly from the listening you will have done at GCSE because at A-level each student is provided with their own CD and their own CD player and you have control over the number of times you listen to the recording and how quickly you move through the paper. So why study Spanish at Copleston? You've got some images on the screen here of some of the resources we have. We are an exceptionally well-resourced department. Okay? We have not only access to the kind of paper copies that you can see on the screen, but we also subscribe to a number of online learning packages to ensure that independent study outside of lesson time can take place, particularly around vocabulary acquisition and developing listening skills. Again, we are very focused on ensuring that our learners are confident, secure in their knowledge so that they can achieve fantastic outcomes at the end of the course. Spanish is one of the sixth form's most successful subjects. You can see there that our results for 2020 were 100% A star to B grades. Nationally, that sits at around 63%, so our results were 36% higher than the national average and we have a year-on-year 100% year pass rate. If there is any further information you would like or you do have any questions about anything I've spoken about this evening then please do feel free to contact me. You can see the contact details on your screen in front of you. Thank you very much for your time. I wish you all the success in your GCSE Spanish exam and I very much hope to welcome you to Copleston Sixth Form next September. Hasta luego.